Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony with the end of patch. So last time we got to Vane, and um, we were able to meet up with Galleon, who is one of the four heroes, and he has tasked us to go to Nenza Pass and um, deal with some troubles beyond there. Now, the astute viewer might notice things may be looking a little different, but definitely looking a little different when, when I go into the menu here. Um, so Alex and Luna, now level 16, Nash is level 13, and everyone's equipped with the best stuff. Time has gone up uh, a little bit here by like an hour and a half. That's because I spent about an hour and a half playing for 7 hours and 42 minutes uh, on... What was it yesterday, I think, or the day before? Recently, and um, kind of replayed the game because uh, I'm I've switched over to using um, the actual PPSSPP um, emulator, and uh, also I had realized that I missed something permanently missable. Um, Back in Berg, when you start the game, there is a guy in front of the shop who is very mad at Ramus because uh, apparently he was sold a golden treasure and it ended up being just a regular old egg. So um, the guy asked for his 30 silver back. And you want to pay the guy his 30 silver because that allows you to get something special much later on. Um, we're not going to see it for a while, but I did want to actually unlock that. Which, the only way to do that was to replay the game, because once you enter Goto Woods um, and pass through it, the guy is no longer there. So that is permanently missable. I'm going to try to, to get the permanently missable things at the very least because a lot of them are bromides. Much like the one of Mia that Nash is carrying. Um, and yeah, since I was replaying the game anyway, I went ahead and uh, pretty much got the best equipment that I'm able to get out of Vane. So I think uh, it's probably a good idea to top up because I did notice that um, Alex is a bit low. So let's go ahead and tag the statue and then we can head off to Nanza Pass. Whoosh. Yeah, whisk the way back down to the surface. And uh, here we go. Time for some action. Getting right to it. Um, oh yeah, I have this, uh, this tactic now, which will make it so that Alex doesn't spend all of his MP when I don't want him to, but everyone else can just kind of do whatever. Oh wow. I didn't realize that, uh, Luna's weapon can put enemies to sleep. Wham. 
This probably just says Nin's a barrier, yep. No, it's called Nen's a barrier. Is there gonna be a wall at some point? Not managing to take anyone down this turn. Put you to sleep for good. Yeah, it's probably not too terrible of a thing if they're attacking Luna because she does have the healing ring, which uh, does offer passive regen. Oh, what are you? There wasn't anything there other than a fight. Oh. Those look uh, substantially less cute than what I ran into uh, on the field. Um, let's go ahead and uh, use Explosive Stab. And the two of you can just do whatever. And you Dorcas is friggin' attacking the one thing that explosive uh, explosive stab didn't hit. Hair needle? That doesn't seem great. Fortunately did not inflict any status there, so that's good. There we go. Oh, both of their range is just outside. That's kind of the uh, the disadvantage with, with uh, Luna no longer having a bow. Is, uh, she's stuck um, having to attack at melee range. Ooh, just barely got in. Just barely got in for the kill. Healing fruit. Oh dear, what is this? Hmm. What is the status that we're under right now? Confusion. Okay, ow. Please don't do that, Alex. You know what? Sleep is probably not a bad idea. But I feel like we're probably going to eat it here. Yeah, that, that's the thing, by the way, about uh, about the combat in this game. You can have individual units flee, which is what Luna just tried to do. Okay, so we got at least one unit out of confusion here, and that's Alex. Uh, you're going to do Explosive Stab, like, right now. Stop hitting yourself, literally. Please don't fall asleep. Okay. Alex, please. 
I need you to get in here. Thank you. Cool. Well, that evens up the numbers a little bit. Um... I use an, you know, uh, an ealing herb on yourself. I'm just gonna try to flee and uh, fail at that. Come on, Luna, wake up. Now... Okay, you can do whatever. The important thing is here to kind of clear this up, because, uh, yeah, please. Ow. Oh boy, that was a rough fight. We got through it though, but uh, Luna's definitely going to need to sing her heart out after that one. Um, and do I have... I only have two starlights. I'm not a fan of that. Nice crit. being a beast. Everyone else kind of pulling their own weight too. It's like they, they might be more um, magically inclined but that's not to say that they're not able to, to throw a good punch. Our monies. Another trap! Cool! Alright. Oh boy. Alright. Do your best, I guess. Oh, okay. That's a good start to it. Also, you might wonder, what is the point of having a single unit flee? And the answer to that is, if one unit flees and everyone else gets wiped, you survive. But you get no experience for the battle. But someone got away, which means it's not a wipe. Okay, Alex defending. That's, uh, that's not a bad idea. Let's be real. Alex just gonna play tank for a minute here. It's not doing too great on health though, and uh Oh there we go. Okay, Luna ran away. That's not a, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that I've lost my healer. Still nobody clearing up here. Fortunately, Nash not strong enough to finish the job.
And still Alex is down. Many uh many sleep attempts are being made on uh on Nash and he's probably gonna eat it this turn, honestly. Especially if he hits himself like a doofus. Okay. He's asleep, and I think there can only be one status on a unit at a time. So now that he's asleep... Okay, well... He still got knocked down, but Luna ran away, it's not a game over. But if there was, it, if there was ever anything nice in that chest... From completing that battle? Oh, we'll never know. Ooh, that's rough. Um, can you hit everything with an explosive stab? Yes, you can. Alright. Then do that. Nothing went down though, it's just not great. So I think uh, we're probably gonna need another one of those. We just barely have the MP to do that. It's not going to hit everyone, but uh, damn near. And all of those guys straight down. The other two take care of that last ant, and there we go. Lots of dodging at least, yeah. West Nanza Barrier, cool. Now, unfortunately, Alex is out of MP, which is not ideal. But there's a statue right there. We come on behalf of the Magic Guild, sir. We have been ordered to travel to land by Galleon himself. Let us pass. Ah, man, we don't want to get mixed up with the Guild. Uh, go on through, quickly. Line is west of here. This place is teeming with a criminal element, so I, suge I suggest we pass through here as quickly as possible. Come on, Jess! what I do? G give me another chance. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear that? Please tell me I'm not going crazy. Uh, you're not crazy. Our boss is just... Drunk out of his mind and screaming himself hoarse again. I love the man, but he can be a huge pain in the butt sometimes. How lovely. Can we go now? Len isn't getting any closer. In the merriest region. Over and over. How much more overrun with monsters can the place be? I mean, there's there's been monsters everywhere. Vane to the west, Vane to the east, Mary's region to the south. <laughs> I think we need to watch ourselves right now. Yeah, no kidding. I don't think there's anything else immediately here. We come on behalf of the Magic Guild, sir. We have been ordered to travel to land by Galleon himself. Let us pass. Listen up, boy. I don't care if you were sent here by the goddess herself. I don't care if you're bringing milk and cookies to my own dear mother. Nobody gets through this gate without Kyle's permission. Alas, I think the, drunk, the man is drunk off his butt at the moment. Can we talk to him anyway? We're really in a hurry. Last I saw of him, Beastie, he was thoroughly enjoying a glass of our finest brew in the North Tower. Okay, where is the North Tower? Is it this? I'm gonna say probably yes. 
Also, probably a good idea to save here. And something that um, that's nice about using actual PPSSPP is the fact that there's text here. And if I had known that there was text on the screen, I would also have known that it was asking me to overwrite my data, which is exactly why it wasn't saving correctly in RetroArch. Still, I'm going to use a new save file because I usually rotate save files for um, for long runs. Now, surely he's downstairs, right? Holding himself up in the base here. The new Dragon Master in Lion. I, that doesn't sound very Dragon Master like. Voice of Reason Luna, as usual. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's a popular sentiment about Jessica. Because everyone's kind of raving about how great she is. No, I'm not Kyle. Uh, probably not going to do that now. Wait, what kind of merchandise do you have? Alex, your face is red. What's going through that dirty mind of yours? What's over here? Man, there is a lot to this tower, isn't there? Oh, whoa! Allowed your chocolate souffle to get cold. Wow. I don't even know. Like, I'm vaguely aware of chocolate souffle and souffle, and I've never seen souffle. Is the thing. Like I've only seen it like cartoons, and it's basically like. A bread balloon in those. It'd be Kyle of Thumb or something cool. Hmm. Roasted fire ants? Oh dear. They're covered in chocolate, I might feel. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we totally do. Like, if we don't, we just have to get into a couple of fights that are not with bosses, but we have like 5,600 silver. Almost 57, so. I'll just keep exploring, I guess. Uh, so there's the barracks here. Hmm. <laughs> Laika, I think we've seen this guy before. No one should be stealing from anyone. But least of all, someone who's calling himself the Dragon Master. I mean, that sounds like a pretty neat place. The ultimate inflatable... Inflatable what? Inflatable tube man? Inflatable arm flailing tube man? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing? You, you, you get the joke. Well, 
Well, you just said the secret word as far as Nal is concerned. Fresh right at the top of mountain range. <sighs> Alright. I guess that kind of makes sense. Matt Damon? Is that you? Oh boy, that sounds kind of terrible. Maybe he knows something about the dragons, though. We're gonna have to go talk to Matt Damon on top of a monster infested tower. Something toward the East Tower with a mug ale the size of your head. Is this the East Tower or the South Tower? Well, that's definitely not the East Tower. I guess let's check this one out. And if it's not here, then we'll check the other one out. Easily excitable person, aren't you? Are you Kyle? I'm gonna guess you're not Kyle. He was here a while ago, though. And then the cafeteria in the basement. I'm sure it was just there. I didn't. I didn't see anyone who looked like a Kyle. Let's check this tower though. Maybe it's the East Tower, maybe it's the Central Tower, I, I honestly don't know. But this uh, didn't look like it. This lady is certainly not Kyle. She's apparently thirsty for Kyle, and that's okay. World without heroes, where would we be? Especially since we're going to be the next Dragon Master, not that land jerk. Anyone here seen Kyle? Yeah, let's to into the, to his bedroom. Yeah, where is his bedroom? Right next to the mess hall. Midnight stack snack is just a stroll away. Is it? Uh, considering that Kyle is the leader, I don't think he's going to be uh, to to have a bed in the common bedroom. Maybe this is it. I was finally asleep. Okay. So this is Kyle's bedroom, but apparently they moved him to a jail cell. It's quite the way to, to handle your leader, but like, I guess if it works, this must be the guy. I think you might still be under the effects, buddy.
You are being quiet, kids. Kyle, Kyle sleeps most calmly when you're... Kyle... Wait, who's talking? Oh, it's that guy in the side. Kyle sleeps most calmly when you're riling him into furious anger. What? This sloppy drunk is in charge of Nanza? So what's he doing drooling all, all over the floor of this jail cell? When the boss is getting worked up, he's becoming most entire... Oh, it's an accent. Okay. I'm not doing the accent. He's becoming entirely berserk and uncontrollable. When he has a most disturbing battle with his old girlfriend, we are we know it, it was coming. So we encourage him to drink excessively and throw him into the brig. It's, it is for the best. Uh, <clears throat> what's going on out there? Kyle, it's nothing, nothing at all. Go back to sleep now. <sighs> okay, sleepy. That was too close. I'm, I'll make you a deal. If you don't disturb Kyle again, I'll order, I'll order the guard to open the west gate immediately. I suggest you you accept my offer before I throw you in the cell with Kyle and eat the key. Jessica was Kyle's girlfriend. Wow, I wonder if, she, if I wonder if they still have feelings for each other. Can do. Definitely feel like we're gonna see this guy again, especially since he had a. Um, he had a, a character picture in the um, in the dialogue. <laughs> anyway, let's get ourselves out of here. It appears we're on the wrong floor. So this gate should now be open. I mean, mainly we just needed to get through this place, so I'm I'm happy that you guys are obliging now. Oh dear. How dare you call Nal a freak? Let's get ourselves out of this place before anything else happens. Because we have a fake Dragon Master to deal with. Wham! Nice little collaborative effort. Unfortunately not putting that in to sleep. No ant lion, I'm sorry. I feel like the turn order is a little luck based. I was like, the the last turn, Alex had his turn a little later on, and uh, then that time it, he just got to act first. Oh good, more traps. Fantastic. Well, at least I saved. Um, 
And it doesn't really matter what tactic I use. No, Alex, please don't attack my party. Luna, please don't attack yourself. Let's see if uh, if someone can be put to sleep here. That should actually be in my favor. There we go. So when he wakes up, he should uh, be unconfused. <laughs> All right. Nash defends, Luna attacks Nash. And now as long as, um... Oh, nice! I didn't actually assign him uh, a move there, but uh, because I used a tactic, uh, Alex still got his turn. That's actually really good. It's also kind of broken, but it's really good in my case. And then Nash gets first stab here. Pun definitely intended. Um. Hey, that's my girl. And you guys wake up your, from your little reverie so we can gain some experience. Well, There's definitely, um, definitely a pattern forming here. Lots of enemies just... Uh, lots of chests rather just resulting in ambushes. You call this safe? Yeah, I I can't imagine how it was before if it's like this now. Look at the sound glitch going on there. Or like, after a double attack, if something dies, there's no sound effect. And one of the enemies is asleep, thankfully. Two more of them down. Man, Luna can pack a wall. This is going to be a trap. No, it's a starlight. I mean, that's that 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 is stealing, sir. You. That's exactly what it is. Cracked mug with I that's not even good merchandise. Ventilation holes. No. Are you a thief or a garbage collector? Wealth redistribution specialist. Sure. Well, we're almost to the village of Lynn. Um, I'm kind of tired of the battles here. Well, the more I'm tired of the uh, the ambushes, and we've kind of taken care of the ambushes at this point. Well, here we are in land. Let's, uh...
top up here. There's a problem. <laughs> That's a good question. Why are we here? Hmm. I mean, that, that was a pretty lively song, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this supposed Dragon Master is a complete fraud. I wonder if this lunatic is a supposed dragon master. If you want me to stay nice, don't call me a cat. That's true. Null doesn't look like a cat. Cats look like Null. Okay, so we got our item shop here. Don't really need a whole lot of items right now. Bureaucracy! We're meeting on a time when we can have a meeting. About a time that we can have a meeting. That's pretty much bureaucracy. Yeah, they they don't seem to uh to be doing so great. Let's uh No, you're gonna have to to make do without fish right now. I really want to fish right now, fish right now, fish right now. I'm pretty sure this uh, this town is called Lan, not Hicksville. Also, I thought Lan was the name of a dude for for a little bit. I forgot that it was the name of the town. Nobody here. Let's see if there's something we can steal. It's not very Dragon Master like I realize, but there's nothing here anyway. I mean, yeah, that's true. Because he's not a dragon master. Yeah, I mean, even if if even Nash knows that, I'm sure anyone can make that determination. You would be surprised from what we've seen just about all of them. Wait, how did you know that we came here from Berg? We literally did not tell you that, sir.
Okay, another one of those red chests. You are in here, right? Yeah, we are in here. We've talked about we've talked to just about everyone here. Um I think. Unless I missed a building. Oh, there we go. Well, she looks significant. Okay, I kind of see what the fuss is about. Also, that was a, a strangely animated jump there. I'm feeling grumpy because I had just had a fight with a jerk in Nanza. I really need to blow off some steam. But the chief of this village is too stubborn to, to listen to me. I don't know what to do. Wow, Alex, this girl is really hyper. You were sent here by, uh, by Master Galleon of the Magic Guild to check out this Dragon Master. Really? What perfect timing! I'm a student at Althena's Shrine. I'm actually quite skilled with healing magic. How about working together uh, with me in ousting this phony baloney Dragon Master? Uh, what do you think, Alex? Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> is exactly what I would have said. Great! We're getting along already. Let's go! Hey, I know you. Who, me? Yeah, you. I swear I've seen you before. No, I'm sure I would have remembered you. I guess you would have. Oh well, when I remember where I've seen you, I'll let you know. A so-called Dragon Master lives out on the, isle of, on the Islet of Land. Let's go to the pier and borrow ourselves a boat. It appears we have... Um, we have gained ourselves an ally. In the form of Jessica de Alkirk. Which is, of course, Helmel's daughter. And... Um, a lot of people around seem to have a thing for her, and I i mean, I'm not going to argue with that point. And dang way, now that we have our ally and our story trigger, we can head over here. We can save. Actually, before I do that, let's see if I just happen to be carrying something that would be useful for Jessica. No. No. Nope. And nada. Alright, so she's wearing pretty good equipment already. She's also level 16, so that's also very good. I'm guessing she's just like the same level as Alex. Is it true we can't go fishing anymore? Yay! I mean, that's fair. Hail, sir. On the authority of the Magic Guild, I order you to lend us your boat. What? I'm not about to give my baby to a total stranger, and especially not to a jerk. I've come here to fight the Dragon Master who's holding your village hostage. If you don't want to be zapped to the frontier, you will lend us the boat. Hell no, I won't. Those boat's my baby. You put so much as a scratch on her, I... Quit yammering, you fool. 
Didn't you hear him? We're here to save your village. Now shut your cake hole and let's take your boat. Uh, sure, of course. Get on in. Really? Hey, thanks. Sorry about yelling like that. I have a bit of a temper. Got it from my dad. You just leave steering the boat to me. My father's been teaching me how to navigate since I was a child. Hop in and let's go. So this is the Isle of, the, the Isle of Land, huh? Looks more like an uninhabitable swamp to me. I already know that the Dragon Master living here is an absolute fraud. Of course, I have yet to see a real Dragon Master, but I'll know it when I do. And of course, I'd, uh, the reason why I'd never be fooled by a phony Dragon Master is because I am one of Vayne's elite, the Dragon Master whose sworn duty is to protect Althena and her people from harm. Obviously, wouldn't be living in the middle of a fetid swamp. The very thought of it is absolutely ludicrous. It's only because of ignorant country folk that the rumor spread as far as vain. Don't you ever know when to turn off that motor mouth of yours? Were you born for the mouth of a from the mouth of a yakking beast or something? Any guy who doesn't know when to shut his trap can't be much of a man for sure. <laughs> Damn, Jessica. Are you trying to endanger your help by scolding a powerful magician? Was that a threat, Nash? Please, you two, let's not fight with each other. You fat, we came here to find out what this man is doing, uh, why this man is doing what he's doing. So let's go ask him. Yes, as much as I'm enjoying this conflict, uh, it's not really amounting to anything, um, anything particularly useful. Um, so let's check out what uh, Jessica has. Heal Litany, Calm Litany, Pure li Purity Litany, and Irish Sludge for mega damage on one enemy. I hear that we have two healers, but okay. Um, and yeah, that's enough. Wham. No need to team up on, on Nash, guys. I'm surprised Nash is still standing, to be honest. Nash, you could have let one of the girls heal you. Rather than use our items. Well, at least for using one healing herb, we got two back. Nash levels up. Oh boy, with the oh, my controls are reversed. Okay. Also, wait a second. Eighty-three. A oh geez. Okay. So not only are my controls reversed. But, um, we're also dealing with her before. Like one one of the one of the first things that an RPG needs to have is good battle music. And this one definitely has good battle music. Okay, controls are back to normal. This box here with six hundred monies.
Oh. Man, everyone's getting crits in. Unfortunately, that left Luna out of out of uh, melee range, which is not the best. But um, this uh, this combat should be over this turn. Sure enough. I was starting to wonder whether um, whether Alex was going to have a turn to attack again, honestly. Oh boy. Now the control reversal, but I think that goes away after a battle, so like, and it doesn't affect the battle itself. Uh, what can you do with explosive stab? We can hit five, so let's do that. Everyone else here at large. Oh good. Actually getting your explosive stab in before any of the enemies move. Yeah, I don't think Luna's gonna be able to attack now. And she she was none of the enemies attacked? What is that? That's bizarre. Also, interesting that we have three staff users on uh, in our party right now, which seems a a bit silly. Um. Yeah, let us go and do the explosive stab again, provided we can hit all five, which we can. Everyone else, there's Mastercard. Silly Coolio. The, this, this game doesn't have any sort of card like that. That's only for the Laga games. I'm still surprised I didn't have to use my point card for the final boss. Hey J-Pop. Blessed Sawin to you. Oh boy, more control reversal. Let's see if uh, see if I missed any chests. Actually, I, I was just trying to get off the screen as quickly as possible to uh, get rid of the reverse effect. Oh, there's a chest over there too. Hmm. Unfortunately, since I left the screen, everything respawned. Maybe I won't worry about it too much, considering that there are trap chests now, apparently. That was just a thing now. Nice. Also, I wasn't sure before, but now I am. If you hit an enemy that is sleeping, uh, you hit for double damage. I imagine you can also crit on top of that for even more damage. I really wish that when you level up, it, it would like light up in green the numbers that actually went up so you can say like, oh, this levels up uh, range and attack and things like that. This particular level up doesn't do that. As you mean, you know, range and attack. It didn't increase them, but it also didn't 
light up any numbers in a nice identifiable room. Lurkers? I'll show you what I do to lurkers. By which I mean I, I do that to lurkers in this game. If you're watching and lurking, that's perfectly fine. Better chat, then. Man, Nash keeps getting beat up on. I, I do recall the um, the English line there being Alfina, lend me your power, and I'm I just keep thinking to myself, Alfina, lend me your car keys. I need to go for a grocery run. Man, these guys are rough. Fortunately, we're rougher. Right, healing fruit, Luna levels up. More traps, yay! I don't see a whole lot of people using uh, using the adventure uh, emote. It's not ideal that these jerks can uh, absorb my HP. Like so. Oh, you're doing it again. Great. Well, a different dude is doing it again. The the enemy in general is doing it again. Why do you use a healing herb? You can literally heal yourself with your spells. I do think, well, I do feel like it's a little broken though that uh, if you set uh, a unit to um, to auto attack, it will determine what it's doing on its actual turn. So, like, if it if it goes at the beginning of a turn, then it might attack or it might take some damage, then eventually go after that, in which case it'll heal itself. Oh, this guy looks... I don't like that design at all. What the hell is that? La -da 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 -da. I got you, J-Pop. Oh, got rid of two of them. Nice. Stick it in its eye. Which one? Yeah, Cyclops is only supposed to have one eye, but like this dude seems to have two. Either that, or it just has the one eye and like 
it can see through either its eye socket or its mouth for some reason. Like, there is nothing good about this design. It's... I, I guess considering that it is Halloween, that that's about as spooky as we're gonna get today, I think. Oh, and its eye pops out as it dies. That's... Mmm. Mmm. And again I say... Mmm. Getting a lot of... Oh, jeez. That ticks down damage. Good to know. Oh boy. Fresh ring. Okay. Uh, Crippen. Yes, that's all I'm looking for. What does the fresh ring do? Stun, poison, and sleep ward. I believe that Luna is currently, yeah, she she currently has two um, two accessories already, so I'm gonna give this to Jessica. Figure it's probably the best idea to um, give it to a healer. Oh boy, it's a Cyclops again, guys. Hope you're ready for this. Um, Explosive stab in the face. Oh, good. You got your attack first. Is Luna gonna be able to get to one of them? Nope, just barely not. In fact, she is going to. Not get paralyzed, okay. I feel like enemies applying uh, statuses to my party is like balanced in my favor a little bit. As I feel like those miss a lot. Which, honestly, is perfectly fine. Um, let's keep on going. Not overly worried about the lurkers. They're more spongy than anything, honestly. Like they have a lot of health, and they can also absorb health, but absorb doesn't do a whole lot of damage either. It just hits for 12 every time, looks like. Wait, you weren't in range, Jessica? Like, you, you look like you should have been able to attack there. And again, Nash healing himself rather than letting one of the healers heal him. This gotta be another trap? It sure is. Oh, two of you. Fantastic. Well, I got something for two of you.
Wow, all three of them uh, hit with a couple of crits in there too and still didn't take it down. Good thing that I'm doing Zephyr Blade. At least we're getting a fair amount of experience, and also this is, this game is the kind of game that will restore your stats to full when you level up, so... Let's see how well we can just handle this fight. It's weird that uh, Luna, like, she moves, like, uh, and it's not just Luna, like, if a character is out of range, they'll kind of, like, move in, and then they'll, like, take another step after they finish moving. Wham! I mean, I definitely wouldn't doubt that um, Jessica could uh, do some serious damage with that cudgel of hers. I mean, look at that, that's business material. Oh, let's get out of there first. Um, I'm gonna have Luna do Tranquil Song. It's finally more economical to do Tranquil Song if everyone needs heals because there's four party members. Actually, was that more economical? I'm not entirely sure. But it's fine. She has a lot of MP. What's your deal, dude? Are you this fake Dragon Master that we've been going after? It's starting a cutscene, so I'm gonna guess so. Hey, you brats! What business do you have bothering me, the, Drake, the great Dragon Master Zok? And how did you battle through the swamp monsters to find me? What? You've come to take me down? <laughs> That's a good one. How dare you invade the home of the Protector of Althena and doubt his ability to smite you? If you're the real Dragon Master, you must have met the four dragons, right? What are their colors? You insult me, Brad. Of course I've met the four dragons. The white dragon, the red dragon, the uh, mauve dragon, and the teal dragon. Now do you doubt that I am the true Dragon Master children? Now that you mention it, yes. Alex, this guy is even more full of it than Ramus. <laughs> That's quite enough of your verbal abuse, brats. You've left me no choice but to teach you a lesson. Come forth, my dragon, and make these impudent fools forever regret their infernal curiosity. That ain't no dragon, bud. I know what that is, but that's not a dragon. Sorry to tell you. Anyway, let's start with Vigor. Um, you can do a riot. Um, you know, calm, purity. Sure. Start with Iron Sledge, and you can do Cascade Song on Alex. Yeah. Oh boy. Wham! I know which, where you got that hammer from, but you know, I'm not gonna argue. It's probably a bad idea to argue with a lady with a gigantic hammer.
You don't appreciate being licked, sir. That fortunately didn't do a whole lot of damage, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Let's start with Sword Dance. Um, your super is ready as well. Oh, uh, may as well just unleash on this guy. Uh, you do whatever feels right, and so do you. Oh, that is very not good flashing. If I can remember going forward, I can uh, try to turn on the uh, the low contrast filter for that. Fire hurl! Is that dragon horny? Well, in in that the dragon has a horn on him. Yeah, I suppose. Riot. Uh, you're going to. I'm gonna have you specifically attack or try to. And you're gonna sing yourself better. Yeah, I didn't think she was going to get anywhere, but uh, at least she's closer to the middle of the screen now. Like, like, Mlem. I don't like the fact that it's bouncing like that. Everyone defend. That definitely was a tell. So you're going to sword dance. You don't have enough MP to do it again. Uh, you're gonna cast a riot. I'm gonna have you heal the party. And uh, Luna, you can toss a starlight at Alex. J-pop, I think you're the one who's horny. Goodness. Is there a hammer in your future? Probably. If Jessica's involved, then definitely. I think next up is going to be a regular attack. So, Sword Dance, Riot, and uh, Girls Can Do Whatever. Then, then. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of damage now, did it? And Jessica in with the kill. With a crit on top of that. And of course, this boss, just like all of the others, was flat broke. Nash levels up. Learned in close. Jessica levels up. My dragon! What have you done to my cute little dragon? 
That's not a dragon, pal. Unlike you, you've seen the real thing. That was a swamp monster called a frog lizard. You're lucky he didn't eat you for breakfast. Really? Uh, I guess you kids saved my life, didn't you? You mean spared your life? You're lucky I didn't slay you along with your pathetic little reptile. And how dare you make the villagers of land suffer to feed your ego? Ah, you're right. I deserve whatever punishment I get. When I let mag uh, when I learned magic, I let it go to my head and abused it to get what I wanted. I abused the power. When I came here and found out found what I thought was a dragon, I decided to have some fun with the villagers. Promise us you won't use magic for evil anymore. I promise. I'll, I'm going back home and mending my ways. Thank you for bringing me to my senses. Thank you so much. I'll be good. You'll see. Shall we really just let him walk away like that? Like he's been terrorizing an entire village. Probably not going to bother with a, um, oh geez, getting double whammied here. Maybe I should have used a warp wing. I wonder if I should, like, build up my tactics a little more. I think I might wait just a little longer before I do that, though. Absorbing. Alex is actually not doing too good, actually. Might might have been a good idea to to use um, use exploding stuff for this because like these guys are actually kind of rough. Of course, if they're gonna keep missing like that and just not getting to attack, then that works out for me really. I'm also glad that. Um, I, I'm like, if I get an attack and like inside a poison mire, that I don't lose health every turn. Because that is definitely something that some games will do. Ooh. We are getting so much money out of this though. Like, we're up to almost 14,000. You know. I think nightmares are the type that will actually um, focus on, uh, on one ally. 
And that ally is usually going to be Nash because I'm pretty sure they like to gang up on either whoever has the least HP or the least defense. Oh, what a nightmare we leave. Well, the important thing is, people are gaining experience. The last thing we want is to end up in a situation where um, we enter a boss substantially below the recommended level. Of course, it also it also helped that I uh, started this session with a couple of more levels than I, than I ended the last one. Not so much off-screen grinding, I guess you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, but um, actually I uh, replayed the entire game. Uh, I think there was another chest that I left behind. That's... I don't remember where it was though. But yeah, there there was, um, yeah, oh yeah, in one and a half hours, <laughs> exactly. because of a, uh, a very missable thing at the very start of the game. Like you just have to speak to a very specific person and give them 30 silver. And that's literally all you gotta do. But I do have a guide up now. Um, like I'm not worried about spoiling myself because I know how the story goes. But uh, this is technically a spoiler-free uh, guide to begin with, and um, it also uh, points out in big friendly letters when uh, you have a missable item coming up. Ah, oh, what a relief. You guys did better than I expected. Hello again. Faisha, what are you doing all the way out here? Visitors to the shrine were constantly speaking of a new dragon master in this region, so I took it upon myself to investigate the matter. He was a fake, and even worse, a fish thief. So we took care of him for you, didn't we, Alex? I was so pleased that a new Dragon Master had been born. <sighs> and now he turns out to be a common criminal. It's certainly disheartening. I pray the rumors of the Magic Emperor turn out to be spurious as well. Huh? I must return to the Shrine with the bad news. Good luck in your journeys, Alex. Everyone dies. Mother says the white mage should jo join them on their journey. Oh. Hey, who was that? Who was that? That was Faisha, the leader of Althena Shrine. You know, the place where you study magic? Or should I say the place where you're supposed to be studying magic? Oh, hush up. What I was about to say before Nash's pitiful attempt at sarcasm is that I've never heard anything about nor set eyes on this facial woman at Althena's shrine. 
What do you mean, Jessica? I mean, there isn't anyone named Facia at the shrine. At least, not before I decided to take a little unauthorized vacation from the shrine a few months ago. What? But everyone at the shrine seemed to know who she was. Hmm, that's strange. I'd better check it out. Alex? Luna? Nal? Perhaps we can meet again on, on a future adventure. Until then, so long. And take care of yourself, Nash. Wait! What an impertinent girl. Nothing at all like Mia. I like them both, and I think Nash does too. <laughs> but I'm still confused by what she said about Facia. There's no way Jessica could live at the shrine and not know who she is. There's a lot of weird things going on, like the the whole thing about people being imprisoned for basically nothing in uh, in Vale, at uh, Vane rather, and um, then this fascia thing. We've got to remember this place for later. The fish here's to die for. Can you think about something besides your stomach? Sheesh. Well, anyhow, um, I think that's about it uh, in this area. So I guess let's head back to um, to the the thieves town here. Unfortunate that we no longer have Jessica in the party, but I feel like we'll probably see her again. And these, these little jerks with their sleep pollen. Wham! 64 damage. You wanna equip the good stuff off the good stuff off them? Uh I did not touch her equipment. Um I don't really need to, is my reasoning for that. And also, if you have temporary party members, it doesn't usually let you, um, I don't think it lets you really touch their equipment anyway. I could be mistaken. Of course, I didn't try, but like... Did you acquire the good stuff? Not sure what you're going at, J-Pop, but I think you might need to tone it down just a little. <laughs> It would be nice if I would, if I were just able to use a warp wing to uh, you know get back to town here, but uh, unfortunately that just takes you back to where you came into the area from. So. Actually, you know what? I'm go ahead and use Riot as well. Yeah, it's um, it's a bit close quarters to be uh, to be sure. Oh, that's rude! They just get to basically teleport themselves across the map. 
Some sort of explosive stab just hits the one enemy. You know, Nash, you are allowed to use your magic sometimes. Just don't do it every turn like uh, like Alex would. I mean, we've gotten out of here and we've gotten back. I'm going to guess that Kyle is probably still in uh, in a bit of a state, so we're going to leave him alone for now. And we're doing pretty good there for a second. Wait, you, you need to save what like the oh you mean magic I mean I will I will say this um, starlights are pretty expensive actually Alex getting paralyzed, not ideal. And here comes Luna with Purity Song. If we're lucky, Alex might still get his turn because he's set to, uh, to attack it. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of broken and I love it. Man, not kidding about uh, these fights being hard to dodge. Damn. I, I do wish that the uh, the auto battle process would would be like, oh hey, I'm too far away to do melee damage. I have this spell that I could use. Alex levels up and learns flash cut. Maybe I'm just not remembering correctly, but I don't remember these uh, these pathways being quite so narrow. Let's check out what Flash Cut does. Slice through enemies. Oh, all, attacks all enemies. Alright, cool. Well, that was kind of rad. So now I have a way to attack everyone without spending my super, and I really appreciate that. Luna, Luna levels up with that one. You got by there. Okay, so now that we have dealt with this fake Dragon Master, it is time for us to um, report back to Galleon and um, see what happens thereafter. Can I get control please? There we go. And we shall be doing that after the break. 
But y'all can take a moment. Uh, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, we'll go report back to Galley and see what he has to say about this whole situation. And um, maybe we'll check in on Jessica and uh, at the uh, at the shrine. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get there. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>